welcome back to the channel. Um, we've got in at the moment a uh, Nissan Navara. Can't remember what year it is. Uh, 2008 uh, with the normal uh, rotted chassis. It's been into repair um, at another garage. We're not going to name any names on this, uh, but we are going to show you their work. Um, they charge the customer £1,200 and the work's absolutely shocking. I'll take you through what they've done and what we're going to do. So as you can see here, they've told the customer this vehicle's all good, ready to go. Uh, we've found another hole there. Let me just grab another torch. Where did that other torch go? Oh, it's here. We'll take you through some of the work they've done. As you can see here, they've put these plates on, uh, but they're actually floating in thin air. All they've done is uh, welded the top. You can see, see there, there's no weld around the bottom, around the sides. They've not even attempted to weld in the centre. Um, they've done that on there. And another one here. And if we go over to this side, they've done the same again. You can see up there on the plates they've done. Just welded to thin air. We've got this. The chassis actually snaps here, right through. This hanger's destroyed, we're going to have to replace that. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to cut all this out. I'm going to remove this leaf string. Take that leaf string off, cut off the rear hanger, infill all these holes, and then we're going to put the, the repair kit on the outside. If we can try and get up here, you can see They've welded a plate on an angle so you can't see it from the outside, but there's an actual... You can see there there's a hole that goes right through. I'm surprised the chassis is not snapped. Um, and we're going to clean the whole chassis up and go over it. But as you can see, the work. We don't normally uh, show other people's work on the channel, but this is absolutely shocking. The money they've sent, uh, spent on it, and now they've sent them on the way saying that the car's safe to drive. You can see here. Uh, now like. Put the pl plates on, they've welded the top where you can see, and then sort of welded the bo bottom on this one. But the whole truck needs going over. all this is going to be repaired once we've repaired it properly holes everywhere and the welding's absolutely shocking some of the plates have welded on never seen anything like it the front half of the truck is pretty good not much work well no welding work required on this on the front half you generally don't find any that you need to on the on these on the front um, but we are going to wire wheel it all down and do a full underbody treatment before the exhaust goes out see someone's already had the DPF out so that's where we're starting I'll bring you back once we've done some of the repairs. This side's the worst where we've got to do a lot of trimming and get rid of um, a lot of the a lot of the rust on this side. Behind there is going to be one of the most difficult parts because the chassis has gone right through both sides. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
we'll show you as we do that. So here we are back on the Nissan. Um, after we stopped filming yesterday, we carried on cutting out. We uh, removed the cross member from up there for now to give us more access and um, cut the leaf string hanger off so we could get all this rot out the chassis. So now it's a bit awkward to get to the other side here. So we're going to replace this plate from from inside the chassis before we uh, start building any of this back up. Once we've um, got that built back up, I'll just grab some of the plates and show you what we've got. So once, once we've done our infill to repair the chassis itself, we've got these plates. These are going to be trimmed down to size. I'm just going to tr trim them down the head a little bit where the curve of the chassis is. We're going to bring it in to this, this sort of section here um, and weld these. These are three mil fit plate. So you'll have the chassis itself repaired and then another three mil plate over the top to um, give it a bit more strength. Once we've got that section done, once we've got that section done, I'm gonna go ahead, um, repair all this crap welding that's been done previously, uh, cut out these plates, put in a few new plates up on this side, let's just bring it in so you can see. I'm gonna get rid of all this, this, replace all this, um, and then we've got these sections of um, three mil steel that'll then be bent and welded into shape. Once we've done that, we're gonna go back and do some repairs on the, the work that's already been done. As you can see here, it's uh, quite patchy the welding and it doesn't look that good. So we're going to try and grind out as much of that as we can and then uh, re-weld all that. This is both sides it needs doing. You can see here. Uh, We've not even attempted to weld any of this bottom. So we've got to clean wire wheel all that back. We can't cut the plates off completely. Uh, they've used the stick welder on it. And where they have welded, they have put quite thick welds in it. So we'll probably damage the chassis more by trying to cut that out. So what we'll do is we'll wire wheel all that and then grind into it as much as we can and then get a better weld on it. But first of all, we're going to start on here. So once I've cleaned all this up, cut some plates out, got them tapped in, I'll bring you back in and show you where we're up to before we uh, weld it all up. So as you can see, we've got our front plate layered all tapped in. Um, we've, done, we've done a plate on this side. We've got a plate in there welded it from behind and this side, uh, ground that back ready. Still got a bit to cut out and more to build up on the bottom. But we just want to get this plate in first. We'll get this all welded in. We'll get, get all this cleaned up as well, yeah. Um, and try and get in behind this plate, clean up, give it a, a V out, get a good weld in there once we've pulled it into the chassis and then we'll get the topping plate over this once this is welded and weld them both together and then it should be strong and then we'll look at getting the spring ganger back on. Uh, 
as you can see there now we've got the plate welded as much as I want to weld at the moment we'll get a flat disc on that grind all that back smooth because obviously we're putting a plate over the top um, and we'll look at getting this bottom section cut out and replace them we can finish welding it all in and get this um, left hand side bead out so we can get a good weld into the existing chassis there so I'll bring you back once we've got it all prepped ready to go here we have a bit of an update where we're up to um, got our strengthening plate all welded in our spring hanger back on start cleaning up uh, ready to try and sort these plates out the previous uh, person done got our info plate done on this side got a bit more cleaning strengthening plate to go on that side and then we started cleaning some of the welds out but try and grind all this out it's full of slag uh, where they've used stick welder you can see they're just blown holes everywhere you can still see all the slag in it. It's quite a lot to try and fix. Don't know how good we're going to get it, but we'll try our best with it. Bring you back again when we get a bit further into it. So we're nearing the end on our Nissan. Uh, I'll take you through what we've done uh, before we get some under seal on. So, now we've got um, the chassis leg all rebuilt, all the over plates are on it. Got our spring hanger back on, uh, tank straps been put back on. Uh, we've done our chassis repair underneath put the, the plates on there got our cross member back in all welded up done an um, over plate repair on this side give the chassis a full red lead in well red oxide now gone over it um, I'm going to start under sealing it now and then it'll be ready to build back up give back to the customer as you can see gone through the whole thing don't forget if you've got one that needs welding work give us a contact either on YouTube or Google the um, garage details, we can get you booked in. I'm currently doing two a month at the moment. Um, so if anyone else needs one doing, give us a shout and we'll get you sorted. So here we are, nearly at the end of our Nissan. Uh, I'll take you through what we've done now and how it looks after we've done all our repairs few little bits left to do get the exhaust and the wheels and the back back on but I'll show you where we're up to change the front section of the exhaust because the flex had gone uh, treated all the chassis at the front air working our way back done done the underbody of the car as well This is where we had most of the holes we repaired all that working around to this side as you can see there all looks brand new now
done the back, treated the rear axle, give that all a good wire wheeling, done that. see there missed a little bit on the tow bar got touch in today this had two coats of under seal um, and we red oxide the chassis after we wire wheeled it done a bit of sandblasting as well but as I said if um, you need any repairs doing on these Nissan Navaras get in touch we can get you booked in